Hi and welcome back to Quema Pa Creations tutorial videos and this um, video is part two of our beating a fedora hat. So we have a guest speaker and my niece Bobby White is here to show us how she beads her fedora hat. Um, the video part one was how to prepare your hat and this video part two is how to bead your hat. So thanks for coming. I hope you enjoy the video. So um, I'm just going to show this hat to you guys. When you flip your hat over, there's this piece right here where the um, where the seam goes through the sewing machine. And I like to go right through the line. I already like to, I don't want to create another hole. So I just go exactly where the thread is, where the thread is, which will leave this black little piece sticking out. Now we're going to start. So first off, you're not starting at the front. Remember, we're going to start at a side. So pick the right side of the left side. And when you go to put your needle in, I want you to put your needle in underneath. Let me see where I put my needle. And underneath that little lip there. And you're going to pull your needle through. And all we're doing is worrying about hiding our knot. We don't want our knots to be hanging out, okay? So right now you can see my thread. And now I'm going to pull it. Now you can see my knot. You see my knot right here? Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good pull. And now you can't see my knot no longer. But you can see my string. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that tail. Well, first I'm going to pull it back out. Let me pull it out. And now I'm going to cut. Are you doing single or double? I do double. Okay. I do double. So now I'm going to pull it through there again. And now when I give it a, a small little tug, now you don't no longer see my top. And now I'm going to go, I'm going to double back and I'm going to put my needle right there in that hole. Can you see that? Right there. I'm going to flip my hat over. And I'm going to adjust my needle so my needle comes right through the top right there. Okay, there. Now my needle is just in and I'm ready to put my beads on. So this is where you're going to practice and you're going to count your beads. So Chi Chi had 13 on hers. I think on my hat, I might be at 17. So just try to put 15 beads on there and then either take off or add until you know exactly how many beads you have. And I'm going to start with a solid color. And I'm using size 11 beads. So I'm going to put 10. I'm going to put 15 on here just to see if it works. Yes, ma'am, I'm listening. Yes, you can go give my mom a ring. She would be very happy. Uh, mine works with 15. And it's better to have an odd number, like Chi Chi said. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm coming back up right next to the bead. I'm gonna pull. There's my first row. And I used 15, so. And it fit perfectly right from my back seam to the front seam to those stitches, it fit perfectly. On there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make mine. I'm going to use my main color as white because my hat's pink. And then I'm going to just put one line in for each of these just for my, just to teach my class for teaching purposes. Today, so that we can at least get some beads on the, 
on the hat. I'm just going to go with just the plain, simple, elegant design to get us through the class. Okay. I I have a question. Yes. I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Canada, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um. So I went back through the bottom with, there's probably like 18 beads on there. So then what do I do when I'm, when I'm threaded back through the bottom? So you're going to go back up. You're going to take your needle and you're going to push it back up right on that thread line. Okay. Or, Thank you. And you're going to go back up to the top, but you're going to make sure that you're going to go right up next to your other row of beads. Okay. Cause you want oh, okay. all of your, you're going to use that stitch line as your, as your guide. So that all you're gonna do the best that you can so that when you look at your fedora hat, all your beads are the same. So you're gonna use that stitch line that's already made there as your guide to get you through all the way across. Okay. On the thank front, you. on the top and the bottom. So you wanna be, be sure that on the bottom too, that you're even and that your your beads are laying nicely next to each other. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. thank you so much. Mm hmm And I'm gonna put 15 more beads on five, ten. Yeah. No, see what you want to do is um you're gonna almost have to when you're coming up from the bottom, like I'm uh -huh. ready to you're you're going to you're you're gonna have to angle your needle a little bit so that you can get your 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 needle right next to your other beads. And so it's not on top of each other. Okay. So you want to make sure you see see where it looks like um to get right here with my needle and so I had to go at an angle. So I'm gonna put five solid rows and then I'm gonna put then I'm gonna start my color. If you really, really, and I think I'm ready for that. I'm ready for the next step. Like I've I've done a couple fedora hats where I've just done this. Well, now I'm ready to go here in my beading. So either I'll, I'm going to take off this off and I'm going to either beat a hat band to it and or I've really been thinking about taking um, and beading, beading florals on here. So you could beat florals on this headpiece and you can even bead florals or even geometric designs on here. So I'm thinking about doing more beading on the hat. Um, and sometimes your beads, even even if you're um, taking beads off the hank, sometimes the beads, um, like I put 15 beads on here, but it's it's there must be a bead in there that's smaller. So I might have to add another bead in there just for it to fit. So be cautious and paying the attention to your bead size too sometimes. Like when you're beading, you get your needle, okay, you put in your row and then you, you put your needle through. You you come up at that point, you do you try to come up at the next point where you start? No, you want to come up at an angle and you want to leave enough room for your next row. You're going to come up at a, okay. a small angle so that you're yeah. coming nicely at the next row. Okay, that's what I was double checking. You're gonna be a half a beat away. Yeah. From the last row. Okay. Thank you, Francis. So that, that makes sense too. Thank you. So that you're not bunching your beads up together. They need to stay in a straight line. So you'll be a half a beat away. There's a stitch that you can if you guys check out TikTok again. I don't know and I haven't figured it out yet, but the lady um, just doesn't this is just the basic wraparound stitch but she does something else with her needle and she goes she threads it and then she goes back through her beads and then goes through her hat and I, I'm not sure why she does that maybe it sticks snugly more I don't know I don't know why she does it but I watched it a hundred times and I still can't figure out why she does it But she'll string her beads. I'm going to see if I can try it. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. She'll string her beads. She'll go through. I'm 
I don't know. And then she comes exactly right back up. I might have to tear this out. She goes exactly, I don't know if you can see that. She goes exactly back up through the same hole that she, and then she restrings her beads again. Let's see if I can. And then she goes back through the, back through her row of beads. Wow, that was cool. That totally makes it snug. That's a whole different. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you guys really quick. I'm going to tear my, mine out. Okay, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to come up through here. And I'm going to put my beads on. I'm just just doing a new, a new different technique here that I saw on TikTok. And I'm going to try it. Okay, so before I would just put my beads on and I would wrap it and pull it through. So now I'm just going to put 15 beads on here. Okay, I'm going to put 15 beads on. Shoot, I learned something new today. That's fucking awesome. Let's see if I can figure it out. Then I'm going to go back up. And when I'm going back up, I'm going to go back up to the same spot, the same spot where my bead is. Can you see that where I'm coming to? Okay, and then I'm going to pull my thread. And instead of pulling my thread, I'm going to leave a little bit of tension out. I'm going to leave a hole, a loop, and I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go back through these beads again. Okay, I just went back through the beads. Now I'm going to pull my string and I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to pull it tight and then I'm going to pull my string, keep pulling my string until I'm back here. And oh my God, it just really fits snugly. It, does, it doesn't move. It totally does. Like over here, my, my rows are kind of loose and they're moving. But once I put, go back through that bead, these are not moving. That's really, really cool. I'm going to try it again. And then I'm going to go onto the side here. 15. So I are automatically, I double my thread. So I don't use single thread. So when I said earlier, I I took out two yard, I take two yards out and then I I half it and then I then it's doubled and then I tie it off. Okay, that's what I do. Well that's our video for today and I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. We really enjoyed having Bobby White as our guest teacher for how to prepare in her fedora hat in part one and how to bead her fedora hat in part two so i hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned a lot from it um, if you would like you can come by and join my facebook group at any time be sure to answer all the questions so that you can be allowed into the group and many times i put projects that we're doing project kits in my Etsy shop at www.quinwellpawcreations.etsy.com and I also have a website which is under construction right now but um, you can go visit it and, and check on it and I will notify my group members when that website is back up and running so thank you for spending your time with us and hope you enjoyed it see you next time thank you